<laughs> Hello everyone, Cengage back and welcome back to Metroid Fusion. I just uh, skipped a bit forward to the boss and set up a save state here before he starts because getting to him is annoying for a person like me. So, yeah, let's try and get him to... Oh, oh dear. Okay, so let me see if I can't explain this boss. His name is Box. Uh, he is a defensive robot and he jumps around, dodges your weapon, shoots those things up at you just high enough to hit you up here. And yeah. His jumping around and running about just makes it hard to hit him because as soon as you try and try and get you know above him like that, he he's hopping and so he's this is box fight one. Even though that's box number five, I guess that means there's at least five of these guys. I'm guess. I mean, me, most people think maybe there's actually six of them for each of the six sectors, but then why would number five be here in sector three, right? Okay, so we beat him, so in practice, I had a lot of time getting him set up because I don't want to just come in here completely blind with how bad I am at Metroid games that aren't the 3D ones. Okay. Let me check something. I can't remember if these were... Those are screw attack blocks. Okay. Oh, didn't see that guy there. Okay, so either way, right before you get him, you have to unlock level 3 security doors. You get super missile upgrade, which triples the damage output of your missiles, meaning one missile now destroys an eye door. Oh, I missed him. Thought I didn't. Ah. Okay, I'm going to try something now. There we go. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to ride a save state because also in practice, this darn dude way down here was just giving me all kinds of problems. Got him. Okay. Boop. Can't see the guy, so I can't hit him with a missile. Okay, there's uh, something up there. Can't remember if we needed to speed boost up to him or something. That was it. No, not that. Yep, energy tank right up here. And since we got that energy tank, we are now fully healed up. Oh, what's that? Oh-ho! Oh, power bomb blocks. Never mind. So yeah, now our missiles are very up to date. We can actually dish out quite some damage with them. Alright. Oh, not what I was trying to do. Either way, so yeah, I've learned to, I've picked, I've figured out how to do some of the tricks I'd forgotten, like the shine sparking, which I guess I'll explain after this. So yeah, you just only missed me coming here and getting this place uh, done, getting the door, which is just down there to the left. You gotta open the things, you speed block, boost through a few things, then you just get in there. I see that you encountered a rogue security robot. You may destroy it if you meet it again. Your safety is vital. But as to your brief, level 2 security locks are released. So sectors 5 and 6 are open. That means those sectors have likely been infiltrated by the X. They are much harder to stop than we initially suspected. Sector 5 arc is sub-zero. 
you're still susceptible to cold from the vaccine side effects, so you'll take damage if you even set foot inside there. Avoid Sector 5 for now, but in the meantime HQ is working on data to adjust your suit for extreme temperatures. Once we have the transmission, you can download it, but the X have destroyed all the data rooms you have used so far. I no longer doubt their capacity for critical thoughts. You'll have to use the data room in the night habitat, Sector 6, Knock. Go to Sector 6 and access a navigation room there. Is your objective clear? Tread lightly, Samus. You are the only one who can do this, and the X may be much more dangerous than we know. Oh yeah, the X are tough. But either way, I'll coming up here, I'll show y'all the the shine spark, which is actually needed. Oh, what's going on here? Does Samus suspect anything? No, I do not think so. Good. Monitor her closely. Affirmative. Out. Hmm, what's going on there? So, okay, I'm going to get a speed boost here. Okay, so I jump and I can just point my direction since I... But if by you if you don't point a direction out to it, then by default it will simply make you jump straight up. Oh, and I mentioned it in practice to myself, thinking about it, but Sector 4 is the only of the six sectors where coming down the elevator you exit to the left. All the others you exit to the right. Alright, so this is Sector 6, knock. The various suit data is here from HQ, ready to download, get moving to a data room. But there's a problem. X from the Sub-Zero Sector Arc are in Sector 6, knock and they... they've been changed by the cold. If you observe one, you'll be frozen from within. This seems like a deliberate tactic. Once you download the various suit modification, you'll be out of danger. Just be extremely careful until then. The knock data room is here. Remember, avoid the blue X. Use your beam to stun them in order to get by. Is your objective clear? Yes. Be careful, they are hunting you actively now, Samus. And this area is very dark. Proceed with extreme caution. Okay, so... Yeah, he mentioned those blue X are able to freeze us. I think they deal 60 damage when you absorb them, so they revert. Whatever. Either way, they are tough X. I'm going to make a save state right here because... All right, there's all these little flappy things going around here. That, strangely enough, are just weird. Oh, hello. Did not see you there, little bugger. Hope you don't mind if I take no quarter in harming you. So yeah, mentions it being dark and look, see there's these things. So I, so these things can only be hurt by the new super missile upgrade that I have, or by speed boost. So we'll run into those six, those blue X's. Ah, there's one. So watch, they're stunned by the beam. As, it, as I just showed, but I find it weird that only they are stunned by the beam. <clears throat> I always did. Even as a kid, I was like, well, why aren't the others stunned by beams? <clears throat> All right, and like X normally do, these guys... <laughs> these guys will uh, chase you down, and because they're X, they can go through walls, because... Forget the holy cow. Forgot about that room. Laws of physics. Oh yeah, if you break one of those, okay, then it's this one. There's a blue X in it. Kind of funny, I always found. Um, let's see. Those two, that bottom one has a blue X hidden in it. I can't remember exactly how to get to the data room. Let me see. I need to go left here then. Ow. I just... Ow. Okay, so yeah, those things, it says it freezes you, but it actually more quickly does a freeze damage. I'm going to try and reload this room and do it correctly now. Just because I can. Boop, boop. Ow, ow. 
Okay, you know what? Taking only two of them is better than taking all of them. Okay, just just run through here. Get off the wall, Sa Samus! Dang it! Runs right into the wall. Doesn't even oh snap! Forgot about all these guys. Well, almost got a free refill from those <laughs> blue X's. Yeah, they do a lot of damage. So yeah, you can get a lot of health refill from blue X's after you get the various suit, but the various suit X's... X... yeah, we gotta fight an, another X thing after get in the various suit area. And oh my goodness, is it tough. I'll explain it actually after I show it. Just going to refill health one more time after a save here, even though I'm using save states, because why not? You know, in case I have to just quit for whatever reason and come back later. So yeah, those blue X's, I didn't actually count the damage. It was either 70 or something like that, but they are... Oh, right. Okay, let me see if I can remember how to get this. I think there's like a, f a fall platform somewhere around here. Nope, okay, then it was back here. Yep, there it is. There's the fall platform I'm probably remembering. Was there something back here? My spidey senses tell me yes, but it looks like my bombing says no, so... We're fine. Oh, I love this room. Okay, watch this. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Yep, saw X. So, normally I would just come through and... Most speedrunners would just come in and ch let her chase you out, but I'm going to do the smart thing and get to the one safe spot in here. So you just heard her do a screw attack, and I'm just going to let her exit. I'm not even going to attempt to. Okay, so we're now safe from her. Most speedrunners will just go boom, boom, boom through there, and just activate her. Oh, snap. Yeah. Whoop. Why don't I just do this instead of trying to do tricks? It never gets me anywhere to try and do tricks. Okay, let me think. Ah, oh, save room here because the next few screens are actually quite hard. So why not, as I said, even though I say I'm save stating very, uh... What do I want to use liberally now, I guess? So let me see, blue X in that block that block and if I remember correctly yeah see if you do that the X can't get you even though you know it should be able to because you're actually touching it it's not that its hitbox is below that the entire X is its hitbox but it's not considered loaded why unless you have that activated I don't 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 expect me to explain it okay let me reload the eye door all right come on he's gonna shoot me yep up See? Now only one missile. Save, because here's the fun, most fun boss in the game. So, you can actually shoot this guy ahead of time. Do some damage to him. It doesn't actually change anything in the next room. So, yeah. This is the most fun boss in the game, as I said. Because, if you thought box was hard, oh my goodness. Darn it, that's right. You gotta go all the way across, so... Missiles are useless against Varia X here. But what isn't useless against Varia X is your charge beam. Yep, so I'm going to attempt to hit him. And he's got his little spinny doodads that look like viruses surrounding him and they hurt you. They are also only hurtable by the charge beam. Whoop, I didn't fully charge when he hit me. 
Oh, that's right. I can also hurt him with the pseudo shine spark. I almost forgot. Yeah, and he can fly off screen, making him really tough. Okay, I almost got him. Okay, where is he hiding? Okay. So... Oh, come on, come on. You know what, just forget it, I'm just going to face it in the water. Okay, and he's going to activate right there. Okay, so yeah. And now we have Barrier Suit. So now those blue X are, well, they're free refills. Ooh, nice and green. So, as a kid, I've mentioned that I got the... that I originally played Metroid Fusion first, so every other Metroid game's various suit confused everything out of me, simply because and it was different from the various suit that I knew, which was just Samus turning green. So these things that have disappeared. There it is. I cannot remember what this thing can be damaged by. Okay, charge beam works. So yeah, I think you can't go through there until you've got space jump. So yeah. So only the blue X in this room are still dumb enough to, to fly at you. Every blue X after that room is smart enough to realize, oh no, she has the various suits she can absorb us, so you only get your free refills if you took a lot of damage in this room. But hey, that's quite enough, actually. See? You're trying to climb up and they're like, we'll get you, Samus. We'll get you, Samus, Aaron. And you're just sitting there like, yeah, boys, come on, I know you'll get me. You're really showing me. Yep, I'm freezing to death. Ow. You know, all that good stuff. I can't remember the way out. Okay, I remembered the way out. Wait, that's right, if I do this... I almost forgot I could do that. So, yeah. So now the X are going to actually be smart and avoid Samus and... Aw. So yeah, but yeah, those are two of the more fun bosses, even though they're more difficult and make me rage hard. Oh, I almost forgot, I think my fa- a lot of people who watch people stream this game, or like the speedrunners, they have their silly little inside jokes and whatnot. I think that's coming up, if I'm remembering correctly. Let me see. Just pick that guy up to top off. I think it turns on just in a few more screens. I could be completely wrong in talking out of my face. Oh right, now I can go through this room. Because there's just these six blue X and that was really the only problem with this room. That's right, that's what those things did. I remember what this room's trick was. Nope, I don't. Oh well. Let's just get out of here. Yeah, that's what these guys did if you when you hit them they they ksss at you. Which I always found funny as a kid, I don't know why. Probably one of those fart joke things. Ah, uh, yeah, I think it's after we go to Sector 6, I mean 5 the first time, that what I'm thinking of happens. Yeah, I'm not even caring right now, I'm just... Ow. Yeah, the actual enemies of Noct don't spawn until after beating the boss, which is kind of weird to me. 
not a thing that made me think we things didn't were wrong as a kid. But as a kid, I did realize that the I didn't realize how smart it was about the X only coming in after you unlock the security hatch for green. Aw. Aw. I can't remember what to do here. Ow. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, so ignore what I just said about something happening. At the end of this thing, we go to chap we go to sector six after this. Saving data, even though I'm going to save state. Well, I guess that save state's useless now. Cause we're almost to the end. Maybe I'll go to sector six and get what we need to and then How did that X download the various suit data? This doesn't seem to make any sense at all. Unless the X unless the X have the ability to process data organically. At any rate, you have the various suit data. Now you'll be protected from extreme temperatures. More importantly, the SAX will no longer be able to freeze you. You can escape easier, but you're still too weak. That thing is too much for you. You currently have no way of damaging it, but my simulations indicate that a penetrating weapon like the plasma beam might work. Developing modification data will take HQ some time though. There's also a chance that you may be able to restore your plasma beam by absorbing a large core X as you did with the charge beam function. As for restoring ice beam functionality, I doubt it. Your current cellular makeup would reject that addition. Therefore, HQ has delivered an ice missile upgrade. This will add a freezing effect to your missiles. It will help you go to Sector 5 ARC for the download. Yeah, I think I'll go get us this. Yeah, it's right after we get these ice beams that we get... What was it? I think it was, it's called, and I'll, I'll talk about it when I get it. So, I think this Metroid game has the most energy uh, tanks, and for good reason, it has the monsters that deal some of the ridiculously highest damage. So I've mentioned 1%-0% speed runs of this game, and before you get the various suit, the SAX will two-shot you. But after various suit, it will one-shot you. So the reason is it's got that ice beam. Before you get various suit, you will freeze every time that it hits you with the ice beam. And after various suit, it will just deal however much damage. I think 150. I can't remember. You need to download the data for the ice missile upgrade, but as you might expect, the data room here is secured. Level 3 security hatches are yellow. Release the security lock and download data as usual, and experiment with those new missiles. They will be helpful. Is your objective clear? Yes. You know what to do. Go for it. Yep. I know what to do. Go and get the harder version of the beams to use. Saving data. So yeah, I think I'll be able to get that. Nah, I'll save that for next time. So either way, I'll see everybody next time on Metroid Fusion. See you then.